Yellowstone, America's cherished national treasure, now stands eerily silent. Why? What could cause this bustling park to come to such a standstill? Peter Ducey dives deep into the heart of the mystery, uncovering layers of secrets that have been hidden from us. While the geysers shoot higher and the hot springs churn, whispers of concern ripple through the scientific community. What have they discovered lurking beneath the surface? The land shaped by volcanic forces might just be hinting at a startling revelation. Join Peter Ducey as he unravels the pulse of Yellowstone, seeking answers to its sudden shutdown and the shocking events unfolding deep within. Remember to subscribe below before we dig deep into this, and let's uncover Yellowstone's seismic secrets. Hidden beneath the pristine beauty of Yellowstone National Park lies a seismic secret that's beginning to stir. Imagine the ground beneath your feet trembling. Not once, not twice, but multiple times. The first national park in the US and the world, established by President Ulysses S. Grant, is now sending shockwaves, quite literally. Scientists are raising eyebrows, alarms are going off, and there's talk of a catastrophic eruption. Are these mere speculations or a ticking time bomb? And what do these geysers and hot springs hide beneath their serene surfaces? Dive in with us as we unravel the mystery of Yellowstone's recent tremors and uncover the shocking discoveries made by experts. You might think you know Yellowstone, but believe us, there's more to this story than meets the eye. Hold on to your seats, we're about to shake things up. Yellowstone National Park is revealing its seismic secret. Scientists take precautions after many earthquakes. Scientists predicted a catastrophic eruption. Is this it? Are geysers and hot springs regular beneath the surface? Join us as we discover how the recent earthquakes have affected Yellowstone and possibly the world. Check out the scientists' findings. Something unusual is happening. Setting up Yellowstone National Park's seismic activity is crucial. Grizzly bears, wolves, bison and elk roam this 2.2 million acre, Wyoming, Montana and Idaho wilderness. The reality behind this idyllic scene is easy to miss. Yellowstone is more than a park. The caldera's Yellowstone Volcano Observatory includes Old Faithful and the Grand Prismatic Spring. Supervolcanoes can erupt thousands of times stronger than regular volcanoes. Three super eruptions in the past 2.1 million years formed the caldera. The first eruption left the Huckleberry Ridge tough and a 60-mile caldera 2.1 million years ago. The second event formed the Island Park Caldera and Mesa Falls Tough 1,300,000 years ago. A massive eruption deposited Lava Creek Tough 640,000 years ago, creating the Yellowstone Caldera. This eruption released over 240 cubic miles of rock, ash and volcanic gases, lowering global temperatures and affecting ecosystems. Imagine a catastrophe that covered a continent in ash, changed the climate and caused widespread devastation. An eruption could ashy cities and farmlands, destroying agriculture and infrastructure. Sulfur aerosols may cause a volcanic winter, where the planet cools and weather patterns change for years. What if I said this isn't the last chapter? Stay until the end to learn how a Yellowstone eruption could change history. Recent research found something unique. This massive volcano has two magma chambers. The first magma chamber was found by scientists in the 1980s, 10 kilometers below the surface, and it contained 10,000 cubic kilometers of molten material. 20 to 50 kilometers below the surface is another magma chamber that is 4.5 times larger. This bottomless cavern was discovered through seismic imaging. There are enough liquid rocks to fill 13 Grand Canyons in these crevices. Volcanic activity has not increased as a result of this discovery. The park's geothermal features always have steam since the shallow chamber can be refilled. What does this mean for the garden? The first national park in the United States is undergoing a terrifying natural disaster. During Yellowstone's seismic extravaganza, scientists and tourists alike were on edge. For 12 hours, scientists and the general public felt vibrations in the northern region of Yellowstone Lake. On March 28th, a 0.7 magnitude earthquake began a series of events. Suddenly, a cluster of earthquakes started happening, which only occur seldom. Seismologists detected 60 earthquakes ranging from 0.1 to 3.7 in just over 24 hours. Two quakes registered at 3.0 or higher on the Richter scale at 8.24 a.m. MDT. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory and University of Utah seismograph stations closely monitored these seismic events. We're investigating more minor earthquakes. This sequence has revived concerns about a big one hitting Yellowstone, which experiences nearly half of the Intermountain West seismicity. This area is one of the most seismically active in the US, with 1,000-3,000 tremors yearly. 
Their sudden proliferation has raised questions. A Yellowstone National Park eruption will frighten anyone who knows this region's geology. The event's size was unprecedented. The park's immediate surroundings would disappear. Lava flows, pyroclastic surges and ashfall would destroy everything. The eruption would destroy beautiful landscapes, diverse ecosystems, and famous geysers. Human casualties alone would be catastrophic. Millions visit the park and its surroundings annually. Safely evacuating nearby cities would be difficult. According to one model, a Yellowstone super eruption could kill 90% of people within 1,000 kilometers. Yellowstone eruptions cause massive ashfall. Thousands of cubic kilometers of ash could cover North America in a significant outbreak. One image shows Missouri and Texas could get over 10 centimeters of ash, while Yellowstone could get several meters. Massive volcanic gases and aerosols would also affect global climate. Sunlight reflecting stratospheric aerosols from gases like sulfur dioxide could drastically lower surface temperatures. One analysis suggests a Yellowstone super eruption could temporarily lower global temperatures by 12 degrees Celsius. This volcanic winter could reduce agricultural harvests and cause food shortages in some areas. Previous volcanic disasters should inform our risk management and reduction strategy for a possible eruption. Is the supervolcano stirring? Is Earth trembling to remind us of its power and unpredictability? Yellowstone's complex geology is needed to understand this. This park is in a hotspot, or molten rock plume from the Earth's mantle. This geothermal and volcanic hotspot powers the park's geothermal features. It's one of the few continental crust volcanoes. Many wonder if the recent swarm of earthquakes on the eastern side of the Yellowstone caldera near the last major eruption is a precursor to a larger event, once again bringing this geological marvel into the spotlight. Seismic and geological data are being closely examined for volcanic system changes. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory and University of Utah seismograph stations say recent seismic activity does not indicate an imminent eruption. Earthquakes may be caused by fluid and gas movement beneath the surface in a geologically active region. Geysers and hot springs attract visitors and show the park's intense geological activity. This includes hydrothermal explosions. Fast conversion to superheated water steam beneath the Earth's surface causes these eruptions. Yellowstone's frequent hydrothermal explosions, like massive geyser eruptions, can be dangerous. Porkchop Geyser, in Norris Geyser Basin's Central Spring, still has rock fragments from an eruption in 1989. 3,000 years ago, an explosion ripped the park's interior. Geological instability makes landslides a risk. Weathering earthquakes and unstable ground can cause landslides. They can quickly close roads and trails, isolate park sections, and endanger visitors. Earthquakes and landslides can disrupt geysers and hot springs. As we discover Yellowstone's secrets, we're reminded of the Hebgen Lake earthquake, one of its most dramatic seismic events. Is history repeating? Hebgen Lake's 7.5 magnitude earthquake remains the region's most vital. Landslides caused by the earthquake dammed the Madison River, creating Quake Lake. The landslip carried 80 million tons of rock, earth, and debris at 100 miles per hour. The Madison River Canyon crash buried a campground and killed 28 people. Roads, bridges and buildings nearby were damaged or destroyed. Infrastructure damage hampered park operations and visitor access. The earthquake severely damaged Yellowstone's geothermal features. Many dormant geysers erupted, changing people's behavior. New hot springs and fumaroles burst, changing Old Faithful geysers' schedule. The event prompted a thorough review of seismic hazards in Yellowstone and significant changes to monitoring and emergency planning. The lessons learned changed building codes and emergency response plans, and the US Geological Survey and other organizations increased monitoring. As experts study Yellowstone's wonders, the world waits in anticipation. Yellowstone animals may hold the key. The park's many ecosystems protect various flora and fauna, from wooded areas to grassy meadows to hot springs and cold rivers. However, something odd happened recently. Travelers are reporting strange bison encounters. Two weeks ago, a bison gored a woman. The Buttermilk Trail, eight miles from West Yellowstone, yielded a second woman's body last week. Grizzly bear footprints indicate a fatal attack. The site is sealed until August 25th for safety reasons. The recent earthquake activity may have affected local wildlife. Many believe animals have senses humans lack. They've lived here for millennia without environmental issues. Animals may detect earthquakes before humans. Before earthquakes, dogs bark and cats hide. Yellowstone may need the link more, over millennia, local fauna has adapted to the park's geothermal and seismic features. Bison are mammals that love their native habitat. 
In winter, they use the park's geothermal zones to stay warm. Is the recent behavior change related to magma chamber changes deep below? Are animals attuned to subtle environmental shifts like vibrations or chemical alterations? Current studies delve into seismic data and animal patterns to uncover the link between creatures, water bodies, geysers, and tremors. Dedicated teams tirelessly ensure that earthquakes and volcanic activities in this seismically active region are observed, assessed, and mitigated. In collaboration with other groups, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, has unveiled an innovative strategy to keep tabs on the volcanic and seismic movements within Yellowstone. Emphasis has been laid on the backbone and hydrothermal monitoring systems. The term backbone monitoring pertains to the comprehensive regional surveillance infrastructure that meticulously logs seismic movements, ground shifts, and related geological events within the Yellowstone Plateau. With a network of seismometers, GPS stations, and diverse sensors strategically positioned throughout the park, this system offers a real-time peek into the underground geological stirrings. The ambition is to refine this system even more in the coming years. A novel aspect of this strategy is hydrothermal monitoring, aimed at observing Yellowstone's geothermal springs and geysers. By tracking various indicators in these thermal areas, including temperature, pressure, water composition, and more, we receive a more precise knowledge of the workings of the hydrothermal landscape. Given the critical relevance of assessing and reducing geological risks in the Yellowstone Plateau region, the University of Wyoming, collaborating with other prestigious scientific organizations, such as the US Geological Survey and the National Park Service, is profoundly committed to this monitoring program. Stay tuned for additional insights in our upcoming Beyond Discovery issue. Subscribe today. Bye for now.